Hello and welcome to episode 69, 69, 69 of my blind let's play of Elden Ring, Shadow of the Erd Tree. <laughs> God damn. Let me go get my 74k runes back from those pricks. But holy fuck, I was just, I just watched an Asmund Gold clip about, uh... Trump getting shot, and yeah, his ears fucking bleeding, and... Oh god. Hold on. I'm not really going the right way, am I? Okay, this way. Uh, and yeah, the internet's going fucking nuts right now, and I'm talking to my friends about it. Holy fucking crap. Fuck whoever fucking did that. And... Dude... A anybody that wonders about how insane this year is gonna get, don't fucking wonder. Like, I'm sorry. Unless there's a miracle, we're gonna see, like, Escape from New York. Except it's not gonna be a New York. It's gonna be Escape from North America. It's gonna be Escape from the USA. It's gonna be the Purge Real Life Edition. And I'm sorry to say that, but everybody... Who's not prepared for that reality ought to get prepared for that reality and ought to spread awareness that this is going way too far and we all need to calm down and everybody who refuses to get along, uh, th those people need to really fucking get it together. Because you, you don't know what kind of fire you're playing with. This is, you know, how, how real does it have to get? How fucking real does it have to get? This isn't a game. This isn't a game. This is all of our fucking lives at stake. God fucking damn, man. Jesus Christ, it's only fucking July. The elections when? October, November? Okay. Hold on. Where's the... The runes? Where are the runes? Where is B the runes at? Where is B the runes at? There they are. Is. Friend? Friend? Why did you have to try and assassinate President Trump? I bet it was Mesmer that tried to assassinate President Trump. Fuck. Can't wait to listen to fucking tomorrow's episode of the Alex fucking Jones show. That's gonna be a hell of an interesting episode. Fucking me- I'm going to fucking destroy the evil Mesmer the Impaler. Actually, I guess I could go fight him right now, but... I'm gonna continue exploring to get more uh, weapons and armor and, and whatnot. And inspiration along the road to help me. And my goal of destroying the evil Mesmer so that he may not succeed at assassinating President Trump before he can get reelected. Fucking prick bags. Okay, I've already done that. So let's keep going this way. Right, so I've made it to here. I did briefly go under that thing, so let's see what else is around here. Let's see what's on top of yonder pillar. Probably not too much. Oh my fucking goodness. I'll tell you something, guys. I'll tell you guys something about me that is uh, not a flattering thing to tell, but it's just a, a real thing to talk about about how uh, how little I understood what the world really was about and what really mattered in life when I was younger. Uh, anybody who's watched every single episode of mine uh, will have heard me talk about how up until about my late teens, I was extremely like neurotic extremely anxiety ridden extremely low self-esteem and had no social skills and almost no understanding of the world i was just a brainy kid with not much else going for me and i remember when 9 11 happened it was the beginning of grade 11 i was in biology class and people started talking about it and then it became like kind of a buzz and we were all allowed to go like get on the computer at the back of the classroom 
instead of continuing to do our work and and check out what was going on and i remember thinking that day and in the few days after that because see my life i won't qualify this too much but i will qualify it with like my life was just so shitty and seemingly life on earth was so boring and uneventful to me you know movie head raised on watching movies raised on video games that i thought isn't this exciting isn't it so cool that something interesting is actually happening zero awareness of all the people that fucking just like died and how much of a horrible tragedy that is and just what a fucking horrific horrific thing it was that this building fell over i literally just thought well isn't that fucking neat you know it's like i'm living in a movie now And, uh, yeah, I mean, there's got to be people right now, especially people that don't like Trump, who are thinking about this like a movie, like, oh my god, they almost got him. Like, no fucking clue about what a fucking dangerous situation we're in. No clue about, like, the value of someone's life that you shouldn't lightly wish for someone's death like that. But, yeah, I mean, so I guess in telling that story about myself, I can say, you know... If you're wishing for Trump's death, or if you're wishing for... Damn it. Damn it. Oh my god, I can't believe he still hit me from there. Um, if you're wishing for the purge to happen because life just sucks that much for you, and you just want to see, you know, the, the chessboard get overturned, I swear to fucking god, be careful what you fucking wish for. Because life's not a game. And the older and the more mature you get, the more you will find that out. Unless you're someone who's had, like, a really fucking horrible life and you're just, like, already committed to evil. Which is true of some people. And to those people, I give sympathy, but... Only so much, because, you know... You're not going to spread your fucking evil onto me. But I will help you... I will help spread joy and innocence and wholesomeness onto you it's just a matter of whether you'll accept it anyway i'm kind of rambling let's uh let's do this i was about to say dark souls stuff this is dark souls stuff elden ring 4 dark souls i mean dark souls 4 elden ring dark souls 4 elden ring legend of the elden ring Hey, hey, did you try to assassinate Donald fucking Trump, buddy? Oh. Oh, boy. Wow. I was having a hard time telling what was going to happen there since, uh... Okay, here we go. Since he was, like, running into the pillar there, I couldn't really calculate in my head, like, what is about to happen? Luckily, I didn't get smacked too hard. Okay, so, okay, so I can head down into there, too. Or, no, that's just to fall down on, into that little place with the fog cave. So let's make sure I don't fall down into that. Yeah, so there's the end of the ravine that led uh, into the fog cave. And then I've got all this. I can probably get through here, etc., etc. Huh. All kinds of stuff going on here. Let's uh, explore the rest of the perimeter of this cliff here. Nascent butterflies? Yeah. Huh. Haven't seen those, I feel like, since the main game, possibly. I mean, I believe I am right above that fog cave, so I guess it makes sense. I feel like those ones are frost-oriented. I think. Maybe. <sighs> man, oh man. Am I looking forward to more of those burgers? And I'm definitely gonna... Well, I don't know if I'll throw on signs or, or a couple 
new uh, YouTube videos I'd like to watch as well by Smith Plays Pokemon and Wolfie VGC. Really quite into Pokemon in general, but a lot of it, like largely just like the the game mechanics and high level strategic gameplay. <laughs> And just the general game design. I think they're really well-designed games. But uh, I might just save those for when I eat breakfast in the morning. Might just throw on signs. We'll see. Oh, that's a nice-looking sky. Okay. Smithing stone eight times four. That's pretty sweet. Okay, so there is indeed a northern path there. Okay, let's go back. Get down on ground level. God, I got a runny fucking nose all of a sudden. And no Kleenex at hand. So I shall have to use my hand. Well... Fuck. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think about fucking former President Trump. Republican nominee Trump uh, having an attempted assassination attempt pulled on him at a Pennsylvania rally. That is fucking crazy to me. Let me know what you think. Shadow, dude. Shadow McDuderson. Okay, let's... Oh, boy. Are you trying to assassinate me? Because I'm allied with President Trump. Present President Trump. Okay, let's uh, go along this wall here. Oh, okay. We have another. Uh... Okay, so I'll be able to get up there, I guess. Yeah, that's cool. I feel like I haven't been up there before. So I have to find another rock that will unlock that spirit spring. Okay, this area is getting fairly funneled down. I did find that map there. Let's go check the rest of the uh, opening in this area, like the valley or whatever. What the? I got turned around there. Okay, yeah, I'd say it's fairly empty in here. Whoa, look at that fucking sky. That's pretty cool looking. Is that the sun? Or is that just the... Yeah, it's not even the Skadju tree there. It's the Skadju tree's over here. So maybe that's the sun there. Alright. Uh... Okay, I'd say this is fairly well explored. No big boss coming to jump down on me and ambush me inside of this location. Time to move on. So that's there. Uh, let's, uh, just in case we forget to come back. Sure, diamond. Sure. I mean, I'm sure I'll find that thing without having to try too hard. But it'll be good to have that reminder there. Uh, it might just be right up here. Okay, so there's kind of like a... Oh, okay, there we go. An area that almost looks like a sunken city. Well, uh, I probably should just take that up and just go explore whatever that allows me to explore. Just get that completed. Right, anything over here? Hey there, Mr. Deer. Hey there, another Mr. Deer. Oh boy. Wow, that is fucking cool looking. Damn, 
Damn, what a view. Jagged Peak, Incredible Sky, Shadow Tower, Rao, uh, Ancient Ruins of Rao, Skadu Tree, Shadow Keep. There's that big church over there where Buddy's located, Manus Manor or whatever. Very, very interesting. Okay. Yeah, let's uh, check out this plateau, see what's up here. Looks like probably the site of interest is where those torches are. Almost looks like an entrance to a dungeon. Oh, it might be another, might be like the northern mausoleum. We've done the western and the southern mausoleum. Might be another mausoleum boss. That's cool. It looks almost certainly to be another mausoleum boss. That's cool. But I should still check out the whole entire thing. Hey there, Mr. Sheepy McGoderson. Got a little lower path over here. Fuck, it's hard to see in this lighting and with all this like grass and trees and shit around me. Will this possibly let me drop down onto... No, that's over here. So I still haven't gotten here. Maybe I could jump across to get there. Th this might lead me to having access to that fort. 16 minutes into this episode, almost 17. I think I'll do definitely less. Like, I might do only half an hour for this one. Yeah, I really need to get into that that part of that fort. Might just be a, a side part of Castle Insis. Actually, I don't think it is. Fog Rift Fort. Yeah, so I need to explore that still for sure. Let's, uh, let's put a thinger majigger over there. Sure, good enough. Because, yeah, my burgers are probably getting pretty close to being done. Well, I, I could probably eat them right now. I have them on a low heat, so... They're fine, but... Yeah, getting hungry, getting ready to wind down. And so on, and so forth. Okay, I would say I definitely don't have access to that fort from here. So, what is going to give me access to that fort? It's like I need to get down into here, but how do I get there? Do I jump across from Castle Ensis somehow? Like, this drop from that waterfall, I already tried. It was too long of a drop. So, how do I get there? Is this not a mausoleum in this place? And whatever it is is going to... Like, give me a pathway downward? Maybe? I don't know. I don't know. I do not know. Don't want to fall off the edge, but I do want to explore. Yeah, I mean, not looking promising. Alright. So we basically explored the entirety of this thing, other than the very middle. That doesn't seem to move much to the middle. And... Here we are. Bossy Mick Boss Town. So, I'm not going to change my equipment just yet. Yeah, Northern Nameless Mausoleum. Uh, if I die, I'll change off into boss equipment. Let's just see how I do. The first one was really hard. The second one was not so bad. Red Bear. Oh, he's got fucking beast stuff going on. Okay, he used up his one healing item. Out of stamina. Uh-oh. 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 Yeah, you don't have that. Ugh. 
Boom. Cool. Yeah, I'm just really high leveled and I have a lot of Skadgetry blessings at this point. Red Bear's Claws, Fang, and Iron River equipment. Very cool. Very, very cool. So that's three out of four of these. So there's one still left in the east. Uh, so I have a pretty cool claw weapon, looks like. Beast Claw. And I have certain Beast Claw Ashes of War, too. So that's cool. Claw of a Great Red Bear, wielded without modification by Red Bear, whose name is lost to madness. Didn't I read something about him when I went and destroyed that giant super bear? After killing the Great Red Bear in a blood-soaked bout, he became fascinated by the untainted glory of its naked strength. I wish to be a bear, no more and no less. Yeah, like Bjorn from The Hobbit. If anybody out there has not read The Hobbit and you like reading books, I would strongly recommend it. Red Bear Hunt. Slaughters prey with sharp claws and a great swipe of the arm. The attack creates a vacuum which deals continuous damage. I feel like he tried to use that on me, but I just interrupted it. Repeated inputs allow for up to two follow-up attacks. Very cool. Fang Helm. Helm of Red Bear, whose name is lost to madness. The cheek guards are shaped after lion fangs. Wow. Perhaps his fascination with the untamed strength of the wild stemmed from his past as a red mane. Yeah, so there's something with, like, red manes being in this land. And R Radon as well. I've heard mention of chest armor of red bear, whose name is Lust of Madness, a vest reinforced with iron rivets. Oh, iron rivet. I thought it said iron river. Iron rivet. After killing the great red bear in a blood soak. Yeah, yeah. I wish to yeah, okay. So it's just, just some bear armor. Just if you want to look like a fucking guy who kills bears with, with his, uh, with his fists, then... Fuck. Your wish is granted. Okay. So that's excellent. Let's jump back down here and continue forth. Yeah, I think I'll, I'll end this episode at 30 minutes, which will be in about 7 minutes from now. I'll just go get my food and uh, let my night start winding down. It's 8 o'clock. The sun's still up, but... When it's time for food, it's time for food. And when it's food for time, my name's Kamala Harris. <laughs> fucking Kamala Harris you know folk need food and when there's food it helps folk out oh that was not the place to warp to oh dude I gotta I gotta ride all the way from over here oh man well gee golly I really should have just fucking ridden back down from uh, where I was at would have been quicker oops a daisy when folk in the community drink water that's clean, it makes the community clean with the folk. And that's what they need. Because folk need clean water to drink. Then again, a lot of people say, like, oh, you know, at least Obama, you know, was a, a good speaker. At least he, like, could, you know, form sentences and stuff, not like these jokes like Biden and Kamala. But to me, like, Biden is worse. Or, sorry, Obama is fucking worse, because... Because his way of speaking was just so clearly fucking faked. Like, he tried to just talk like a down-home regular American... This is just how I talk when I'm sitting on my porch. Well, you know, sometimes people, they get scared of things they don't understand. And that's what makes them pedal fiction. Marvel tier. Huh. That might only be, be there at night. And when people are peddlers of fiction, well, 
sometimes they're willing to do crazy things. Like, it was just like... Listening to Obama to me is like listening to a fucking AI. I remember thinking years ago that Trudeau was like the Canadian Obama and boy has that turned out to be fucking true. Right down to both of them uh, pulling the fucking Superman reference. Like, oh my god, oh, he's so cool and natural, but he really likes to stand up for us. They're both such strong, tough men that are just so patriotic and they just love us all so much. One's got black skin and the other has cool hair and pink socks. Wow. Uh, anyway. <laughs> anyway. Okay, so there's a path around here. There's a path through here. These might connect. Might be all kinds of stuff going on in here. Have I been... Like, what? Did I get to go down here? Maybe not. Dude, this might be a whole other fucking section. That's fucking crazy. Temple Town Ruins. I have not been there dude so whew. a little bit discombobulated there are just so many fucking options what is that oh do Jim got it so okay leave you be so here's the beginning of this place yes here's where I got the map there is where I unlocked the spirit spring. Does that mean that Torrent is a spiritual horse? I mean, I guess it makes sense. Wow, golly, goddamn. Oh, we got a level 2 shadow, bro. I really would like to find a site of grace over here. Smithing stone 5 times 2. Uh, I guess let's go just explore along this wall here. I got 2 minutes. I, I got 2 minutes, so... Um, yeah, thank you for watching episode 69. Like, share, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you think of me, uh, of my commentary, my politics if you want to. Uh, you can comment on my, my voice, my attitude. Let me know what you think of the DLC. Let me know what you think about someone trying to assassinate former president, current uh, president hopeful. Donald J. Trump. Uh, and let me know what's going on in your life. Let me know how life's going. I hope it's going well for you. Whether you agree with me on, uh, you know, debate issues or not, hopefully we're all still capable of caring about one another as people. Oh, there's a set of uh, things there, so I can get down if I wish. Not that I'll need to. I was down there long, long ago. For some reason, I have it in my mind's eye that I just saw a sight of grace, even though I don't think that's true. Temple Town Ruins. Huh, 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 huh. I'll just explore this area. I'll be done. Okay, another revered spirit, Ash. Fucking right, I got that name right. First try, love it. Radafruit. Nothing else up here on this uh, raised sector all right cool yeah uh thanks for watching check you out in episode 70 peace out